sitting here in the hood and you raping folks. You look like a good kid. I'm gonna give you oh, a fool. Cheap ass pawn shop. They want me the chosen one. You don't want to help me out. You're a bitch. A customer is looking to get his item back, but there seems to be an issue. I got a big TV in here. I'm here to pay y'all in today. When you pay the $20, she gives you one month from your date. And she told me I get two more months. No. Pay for the extension. She told me that I have two more months of extension. You should have been here November the 1st. This is my point right here. She told me two months. Les makes a promise, but hopes the customer is wrong. No one has ever said to anyone, you get two more months when you pay your extension. If you said that October 1st, I would not be here now. I'm sorry, your item is gone. That's some bull man. If my girl made a mistake, we'll, be, we'll honor that document, no question. A couple of hours later, the customer is back. You have your receipt? I don't have the documentation. Even if it was two months, it would have been November the 1st, am I correct? You're still late. It's past due. You sitting here in the hood and you raping folks. Where's the respect? You back us off. No, I'm gonna be right here because you're swearing to him. Have a nice day. F you too. What am I doing to your boss? I gotta do. What am I doing to your boss? You're swearing him. To outside. a bulletproof we'll grass? About, we'll about it. A customer with a couple of items which Seth knows the authenticity of. I got some Cardis right here. You seen them? Look at them. They the real deal. And these were fake. I got an Xbox as well. 100 on those, and I'm not interested in your glasses. You a funny guy. I'm you got a manager. Funny. You got no, a manager you're right talking now. talking to one. I ain't going nowhere till I see the manager. Seth decides enough is enough. Out. I'm not leaving. No, out. It's the real deal. He's the manager. Perfect. You're crazy, man. So now you get zero. Get some real glasses, B. Shh, crazy. They disrespected the hell out of me. A good luck item or just a sales tactic? Les gets confused by the customer and has him stumbling with his words. The luckiest gold elephant you'll ever find. So if Money, it's such good luck, why are you getting rid of it? I need to move out to California where I can start a new life. I mean, I know that this is a calling. I, I went Who's out it looked, calling? It's calling whoever it's calling to, and you know that that will show up. Tell me what that means, because I don't get it. With time, you'll get it. So Let's sell me this elephant. He finally decides to share his price for the item. It sells itself. No, it doesn't. And, and also, listen. It doesn't sell itself. This has a gravitational pull to it. Stop pulling me. I don't think, I don't think you're understanding what I'm okay. saying. That's why it's valuable, because people want it. It's and I wanna... not a lie. Says, says who? How much do you want for this elephant? $3,000. What would you actually take for this thing? I need at least $800 to, to pull this off. So you want 200 bucks? One off. 350 bucks, take it or leave it. You look like a good kid, I'm gonna give you- I'm like a fool. I'm gonna look like a fool. Cause I know that this has a lot more worth. Les makes one last offer. Will 400 dollars help you? 500, I'll turn around and go through that door as well. I'll go 450. 450, you gotta pay deal? it forward. Next up, we have a customer trying to sell some last minute tickets. I got some Tigers tickets. Nothing says last minute to you come into the pawn shop to sell me some Tigers tickets for tonight's game. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to help you out. Why don't you stand out in front of the game and just try and sell them? Really? Try to buy them? I'm with busy tonight. Me? With what? Boyfriend? What did Tigers? you just say? Things escalate quickly as this customer crosses the line. Buy these tickets. Take your tickets, put them in the trash, light them on fire. I don't give a So what's he doing here? You buying tickets? Bitch, you going to buy these tickets? On the way out, he gets what he deserves. Let's go. What the f so Karma's <laughs> <laughs> a bitch. A girlfriend looking to get her boyfriend out of jail walks in. My man just got locked up and I'm trying to get him out. So all the f that he bought, I'm looking for at least a thousand. Silver. What that got to do with it? It's jewelry. Silver, diamonds. That's Very just like light. telling me it's not a value to me and I'm a dancer. Bobby J also takes an interest in the customer. You say you're a dancer? I'm an exotic dancer. What's your specialty move? I work the pole, not only the metal pole. That's why they called me the chosen one. She gets angry after her tactic does not work. Not interested in it. Let's try this the nice way. My man is locked up. Can you pawn my jewelry? No. So you just don't want to pawn my jewelry. That's Correct. all that it is. And that's some bullshit. Have a nice day. You know what? And you have a f***ed up day. Thank you. And kiss my ass. This ass. Kiss that ass. The purse blocked it. Thank, Thank you. A customer walks in looking to pawn his item. You want to pawn this? this? Yeah. Sterling silver. How much are you looking to get today? About 200. Give me one second. Um, it's actually not sterling silver. It's real. Go check it again. Your machine's f***ed up. You're f***ing lying to me. The customer insists and calls Ashley out. No, you don't want to help me out. You're a bitch. You're talking to me in a rude tone, snotty. Give me my f***ing back. Proud of your f***ing you. You.
me. Yeah. What's he gonna do to me? What's he gonna do to me? He you not my bitch! A customer walks in with some very suspicious items. I need about $200 for this. What, what's this? But they're not actually his, are they? Things escalate quickly. You gon' buy this sh from me. Ugly ass, this smirk looking mother. <laughs> the the mama, mama, mother and security has to come. You better be glad he saved your ass, mother. I have customers that are coming in and out at all times. I need to go out there and make sure that this guy doesn't interfere with them. Security has to escort him out, and Seth makes sure he never comes back. You know who the I am? You bitch. Step up. Bitch your ass, mother. Pray for your ass, man. Great. I bless your ass in the name of Jesus, you bitch. Thank you. Bitch. <laughs> Dork. Hey, I'll chick my fucking mother. Next, we've got a customer eager to sell his brand new vacuum cleaner. Still in the box, man. My wife went ahead and called the professional, so. Now you're trying to sell it. Yep. I'm down to get the best deal in town. It's time to get down to business. You know, maybe you guys could use it around oh, here, no, man. Right. We got a boy, got... Larry. Larry takes care of all Looks the floors. Looks like Larry's slacking. So how much are you looking for? Following a bit of back and forth, it seems like Seth may have come out on top in the deal. About 150 bucks. 60 bucks? Not any bucks, Seth. 70? 85, and it's a deal. 80 bucks. 70 is a fair deal. Yes, I gotta take it, Seth. Roll with it. However, a knock on the door interrupts his piece. That oh, copper cleaner is used. It looked like he used it, packed it up, and put it back in the box. You told me that it was brand new. So what'd you do? You look in there's rust stains in there, tape it back up to make me think it was new? I don't want him doing business here anymore. Confronting the customer, who is now caught red-handed, Seth ensures that this is not repeated in the future. If you get caught trying to scam us, you're done. We're not suckers. I know. We're not suckers. Two daycare workers walk into the shop. I have these earrings I'm trying to pawn. We're trying to have a pizza party. So how much money are you guys looking for today? Uh, 300. We're going to do cupcakes, giveaway, that. It. Ashley is more than happy to lend a hand, but there's a snag. So I'm going to be able to help you today, but not necessarily with 300. I sell these for under 200. They're real earrings, they're real diamonds, but they're not gold. Did you know that your backing is also broken? After Ashley clarifies the value of the earrings, she also presents an offer. Okay, how well, much are we looking at? So they're going to be under $30. With their initial price slashed by 10 times, the customers seem to toss their manners out the window. We need more than that. Yeah. This would Definitely take care of a couple pizzas. Are you listening to what we're saying? I think you need to put your listening ears on. Yes. You sound a little cranky. Did you have any yeah, breakfast you today? The annoying tone of their voice gets under Ashley's skin, prompting her to also ditch her manners in response. Do we need to get your daddy over here to help yeah. you? You need to give us the 300 right now. Really? It's the bully. Right. It's the playground. It's the playground. It's always on the playground. Right. Bully. Yes, I am. You're a real bitch. In the next scenario, a pair of ladies enter the shop. I'm here to pawn these earrings. Okay. Trying to get $350 for them. However, after just a few exchanges between Les and the customers, a tense situation unfolds. Why are you swearing? Because you're asking me why I'm coming in here to handle my business. That's not your business, why I'm coming in here to do what I got to do. The customers persist in hurling insults at Les. What your sign say out there? Jewelry and loan. This jewelry loan me my money. How many kids you got? I'm coming in here with my jewelry to get money. How many kids you got? She just told you. Eventually reaching his limit, Les decides to be honest with them. Man, you getting on my nerves. I ain't even looked at my Do you know that these aren't real? These are real. How the you gonna tell me just by looking at my They're not real. As the situation intensifies, security is summoned. And what's the deal, dude? No, hey, just, we just having just, a conversation. Ladies that act like ladies are treated like ladies. Well, hey, the coat you right, right off. It's a thousand degrees. Who the f right left? Where's Les? The customers continue their verbal onslaught against Les, revealing a surprising truth. I ain't leaving this bitch to you. We give me my money. money. Well, I ain't had no f***ing year. Jury and long. Boy, ass shot. F you bitch. Thank you. A non-functional watch has this next costumer walk in the door. But I got a little issue here. What's your issue? Bought this watch from you guys a couple days ago and it's not working. Ashley seems suspicious. Do you have your receipt? I do not. Spent a lot of money on that thing, man. I would appreciate you didn't, you didn't swear at me. I spent a few thousand dollars on a Rolex. The customer gets annoyed at the interrogation, so Ashley takes a look. Do you have context? You can see well, right? I can see very well. What does it say? 
This is bull. You guys must have ripped me off somehow. It doesn't say Rolex on the watch. Come here, I'm gonna show you exactly where Rolex is. And by the way, if you wear a tank top, I'd advise you work out tomorrow. How about I work your face? Really? But he goes too far and finds himself somewhere he does not want to be. Really? How about it? Get the I want what I paid for. A young couple walks into the store, aiming to pawn two rings. I got two rings here. I got from my neighbor. Okay. Like you get them checked out. Nice rings. What are you looking for? I need 5,000, bro. You need 5,000? 5, 5,000 is not going to happen. The young man's hopes are sunk when Seth tells him of the true value of the rings. I need to pay my court fees. I got a DUI. Crash my car. Her car. Despite the girlfriend's attempts to help, the young man appears reluctant to accept her assistance. You just need to get as much as you can. It's not your damn business. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. What's the goal? That's 18 karat, right? 18 karat. Okay. 900 bucks. That's ridiculous. Appalled by the customer's choice of language, Seth tries to impart a lesson in respect. Tell me what it is. No, don't tell me what to do. Stop talking. Stand behind me. Say, why are you such an ass? No, this it is, is my property. Business. This it's is not my your property. property. You're on my property, so I can tell you what to do. If I'm, I'm just... telling you what to do, don't be an ass okay. your girl. Tensions escalate further. You, you, what the that's just paper. Shut that's just paper. Shut the Why don't you shut the up? And you get shut out. the make me get out. Yeah, I will. Make me get out. Seth decides to give the young man a taste of his own medicine. Who the are you? Who the are you? This. You. What? You. you. So I'm trying to be a good boyfriend, right? And she started talking for no apparent reason, ruined my chances to get her car fixed, and I crashed. A customer walks in eager to return a pair of diamond earrings. My niece bought me some earrings from here. Do you have the receipt? Uh, no. Do the you... gifts come with a receipt? Oh, yeah. Um, no, well, this one didn't. The situation takes a turn for the worse. You don't have the receipt. Yeah. You know what a receipt would look like if I had one. On the receipt, it says no cash refund. Mm -hmm. These are fake. Despite Ashley's attempts to assist, she dismisses the help. Anybody buying any jewelry from here? Don't get no more jewelry from hey. here because this hey. ain't good. Hey. Can you help me? Can you give me my money? No. Oh, wait. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your and coat's so tight? The back and forth with Ashley seems to make the decision for the customer. You can leave. Where? Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Ain't and no motherfucking receipt. Listen, hey. No. Hey. It's time to leave. This is Joe. Joe. How are you He's going to show you to the front door. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll be back. Little ass. Hey, you need to go get fair right quick. This next customer enters the shop in search of an expensive watch. A nice watch. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Ooh, that is sharp. Can I try it on? Wow. Look at this watch. Like this right here. How much is this watch right here? 75 bucks. I don't want no $75 watch. A watch like 500 or something. Yeah. I'm Bugatti. Oh, now this is real nice right here. Bugatti when Bugatti go out, they got that little white. Right. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this Upon agreeing on the price, he pulls out a $2 bill. Before you say something now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's worth a lot of money. I should get some change back. Look, look at it. Two and add three more zeros. Cash me out. And guess what? You got to give me some change. Ashley is left puzzled. And it's worth $2,000. It's rare to find a $2 bill that got red in it. I'm about to go deaf right now. Oh, don't, don't piss off who got it. You little chunky, draws looking purse. She has security promptly remove this customer from the shop. You owe bologna sandwich. Y'all ain't got no money. Big Mouth is hungry. Uh -huh. You're hilarious. Real, I'll pawn you. Matter of fact, that $2 bill, you could I'll pawn this whole stuff. Next on the agenda, we have a customer with a Gucci handbag. Either trying to get a loan on it or you guys can buy it. Mm -hmm. Trying to set up for maybe like one fifty. However, confusion sets in. It's 50 bucks. Why is it? $50. The certificate and everything is in there. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan for $75 instead of the $50. Yeah, I wasn't interested in more than $50. Dissatisfied with the assessment. But I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. But you're still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? Can I talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni looking ass. Leading Ashley to show the customer the front door. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. Ugly ass bitch. Can I talk to the owner? The, how you get here? You f your way to the top. This is not a single pelt. So what's the least you take? 500. So in all actuality, it's going to be under $100. After some back and forth, the trio manages to find common ground. Get out of here. You got to be kidding me. So I can go about 60 bucks. Uh, 70. I'll be more than happy to buy 70 dollars. In walks a couple welcomed by Seth. I'm Seth. I'm Jerome. Seth. Jerome, nice to meet you. Man, we had a uh, break in at the house and we wanted to come up here and see if we had any of our items here. We came home from work. We noticed that our PlayStation 3 was gone in our camera. 
However, what they are requesting is not something possible. If I give you these people name, can you run their name and see if the PlayStation 3 under their name? I cannot. I'm not no, pissed no, no, off no. at you. I'm pissed, pissed off at the situation. situation. Right, I understand. It's crap. Ma'am. Seth tries to offer them a solution. Next Saturday, you're here right now. Next right? Saturday. This is the thing. I'll be gone, buddy. So you're getting all frustrated and bent out of shape. Suburbs, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. You make me really want to help you, you know? Like, the, your attitude. I, I, mean, I understand what you're saying. You're saying we got to come back with the serial number. I'll give it to Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, nice meeting. I got time to be wasting my day. Next in line, a lady is looking to pawn her necklace. I got a necklace. Let's see. I got to pay my light bill. I want to pawn it. How much did you need on the necklace? Close some, honey. I was a fancy dancer, baby. Les proceeds to give Bobby J a present he will remember. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Don't be scared. Can we use the furniture? You can definitely use it. Come on, baby. Boom, 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 okay, Where do this? I put the money? You know where it goes. Whoa. I've never in my 30 years of existence have I seen a stripper with a cake. Oh, okay. right. You all right? I'm good. I'm just going to sit for a minute. <laughs> Les gives the lady what she initially came for. So you want a hundred bucks? Yes. Come right over to this window and take care of you. It seems Les has a situation on his hands. Checking out this here couch, you know, and uh, my man walks over, knocks over the lamp. I picked it up for being a nice guy. My man blaming that on me. So if you didn't break it and he didn't break it, I don't know how the I don't got know. Bro. Les knows the truth and now he has to take action. Oh, you knock it over, bud. Were you gonna buy it? No, it's broken. You I'm crazy, mother. How crazy are you? To do what? Whip your head, old man. You don't wanna do the. Byron offers his assistance and helps the customer. I got him, sir. Yeah, come outside. I dare you. Outside the store, something very unusual happens. I'll give you a bit of it, dog. Good, good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, you're so horny, bitches. Hey, you want to watch, man? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, bitch. Unbelievable. <laughs> I guess I don't have any money for the lamp. Two customers walk in with a very strange story. I'm trying to sell my guitar today. Uh, about $200. We're just trying to sell this for $200. We have a baby coming up. One of us, maybe. How is that possible? Seth is appalled at what he hears. You guys both slept with the same girl, and she's pregnant. So you don't know who, who's and, uh, These guys were complete <laughs> idiots. Either way, Seth has made up his mind already. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen, bud. We just well, need $200. So we I know. Thing, man. I wish I could help you out, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible with you. Uh, bucks, man. You know what? Take this guitar. Just give me $20, we'll get the out of here, man. Things take a turn for the worse. You're gonna get the out of here. No, I'm not. Man, we're this place, man. I'll go show you what I can do. Well, anyways, a bunch of garbage. Won't even give me $20. Let's get something, huh? The customers proceed to make a statement while leaving. You think I'm playing with you? Clean it up right now. You pick it up with your rich ass. You're you gonna get... with me on my territory? Get on your knees and clean it up. I... Help is needed, and the father son duo jumps into action. Where the is some help in this joint? Why is my TV out here in the store? Your security out in the supposed to be in the back. There, right, hit here, take it. Yeah, see him. Why is that a different brand? That's a different brand. That's bull. Let me get this straight. She so what you tell me, I ain't my right. right. So you tell me I'm wrong? Yes. So what you want, an apology? Sure. No. Apologize to him, you don't have to apologize to me. Neither. It's a group deal. Nine spots out of nobody. Off. After the situation is explained, she seems to calm down. Go in the line over there and they'll take care of you. How does that? Okay, let me get back on television. Put your you. teeth back in. That ain't fake. That's real money. But problems with this lady can't seem to stop. How you gonna fit my TV through this window? What? Why don't you finish with her? So she She's can... finished. Okay. They're just going to get it. Give me yeah. a way at that counter. How are you? All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Who is Hook? Hey, Hook. He go. That's your ass. Stop Keep saying. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. Rich meets a customer who seems to be already in a bad mood. I've been waiting all day, and I want my out of here. Do you have your receipt? No. There's my ID. So what you gonna do about that? I'm in a rush. You're making me miss my hair appointment. Working on it there, Marcus. I would say that, that he passed for a woman. I don't even because know what the hell you're my talking. ID says, is that a problem? This is a guy. Find the because it's here. Just do your job, and I want He is not able to keep calm, and Ashley steps in. If you're okay. gonna cuss at me, things aren't gonna be a good I don't give things a, a yeah. and I want Ma'am, you're right here, you're being really rude. 
I mean, Ashley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't need to shake your hand. Oh, okay. You're too good for me. Anyway, so your wedding ring, one that you haven't paid on. Listen, your wedding band has been pulled. Where's the f***ing overdue? No, you need to find my. The situation goes south, and security has to step in. Marcus, hey, you will not listen, talk to any of my employees like I that. Walk out the door. Touch me if you want to. I'm gonna go. Okay. Oh, so okay. now you're gonna come from behind the counter. Bye. This customer seems to know a lot of things. I gotta buy titanium. You do know that titanium is the strongest known human metal. How much you got? This ain't my money, it's Cash money. I like this one. That one? That one's 150. How about a ring? Want a thumb ring? After selling all she wants to him, Ashley gets very surprised. Is there anything we're missing? Diamonds. Yeah. I can melt it all. You know how you know how to melt it? Bleed on it. Iron ice, baby. I can see through everybody who they really are. It's all an illusion. Earth don't really look like this. This is all a lot. Who are you looking about, at? God, ready to teleport anytime anybody tries to hurt me. So let's like. <laughs> Ashley also calls in Les. I can't yeah. handle the lies. My eyes and ears bleed. Bless this house. Okay, bless everything. Same. This is last. Yeah, well, he is going to start boxing it up. I'm adding. I would run around naked if they were like, really? I was Hitler when I was first born. Let's not talk like that right now. I started <laughs> off as Jesus. Trees are people. Done. We're good? I think I did a pretty damn good job. And Great deal. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching. And as always, like and subscribe for more content.